see this? It's 30 pounds of cheese, about how much each of us eats in a year. And in the case of string cheese, it takes a special process to make it pull apart like this. String cheese! Kids play with it, adults marvel at it, and people of all ages love to eat it. Good cheese. So it's no wonder that we consume nearly 157 million pounds of string cheese every year. String cheese! But how does raw milk from the cow turn into this stringy snack? To find out, we follow the milk to Hennings, Wisconsin Cheese Factory, where they've been making cheese for nearly 100 years. We use whole milk direct from the farmers. We can only make cheese as good as the milk that's going into it. That's raw milk straight out of the cow, heading for the pasteurizer. The milk is in and out of this piece of equipment in about 20, 25 seconds. The pasteurizer kills the bacteria in the milk, but to start the cheese making process, a select mix of other bacteria called a culture is added back in. Each culture is specific to certain types of cheeses. Like we will use a different culture for making cheddar cheese. And all string cheese starts out as mozzarella. We're adding the culture that we need to make our mozzarella cheese. They will grow in this milk for about the next hour. So what will the culture do to the milk? It converts that sugar in the milk and into lactic acid. The acid makes the milk's protein lump together and creates something that's not quite cheese and not quite milk. You end up with this, a mixture of lumpy curds and the liquid known as whey. The challenge now is to turn the lumpy parts into string cheese. To do that, the curds and whey get pumped to the curd table where the liquid is drained, and the curds are salted to stop the bacteria growth and to flavor the cheese. This is going to add texture and body to the cheese. The curds are then rinsed to wash away any excess salt. We're going to be shooting some water out here. I told them not to blow it out too hard so we don't get you wet. The squeaky clean curds are dumped into a cooker vat filled with hot water to soften them up. So huge screw-shaped mixers known as augers can knead the softened curds together. And what we can't see are some augers that are inside this vessel here that are, that's working and conditioning and kneading that cheese. The curds come out the other end as huge blobs of mozzarella cheese. It comes from the hot water and the augers. We're lining up all the proteins in this cheese so that it can give it this texture that we see right now. And that will make just the best string cheese. But it's still not string cheese until a machine called the extruder forces the taffy-like mass of mozzarella through narrow skinny pipes to shape it into long cheese ropes. What we're doing is an extrusion process where we put the cheese under a lot of pressure just to squeeze it through these pipes. As you can see, it just keeps getting longer and longer. How long could it get? This will go on for miles. It's all one piece. So you could have string cheese that goes on forever? From here to infinity, yes. If you wanted a piece of cheese a mile long, we could make it for you. But since a mile is too long for munching, the string cheese gets cut down and bagged up for snacking. So I now have to tell if we've got good string cheese. Does the cheese pull? How fibrous is it? That's what we're looking for here. And I always say the more fibrous, the better it is. And to think that cheese was raw milk from the farm just this morning. <laughs>